Good evening and welcome to Scrapbooking with a Twist. We are going to make our weekly swap embellishment tonight. And the theme this week, I've got ink all over me. And the theme this, the theme this week is children are the future. So we're going to make this cute little guy. Or it could, I guess you could put a skirt on her and it could be a girl. Um, I don't know if that's a little briefcase. It could be a doctor case. Um, it could be... It could be whatever you wanted it to be. But anyway, we're going to make this cute little embellishment. And um, I'm going to start by um, just, you can see that there are, uh, it's embossed. Actually, there are a couple of little spots that punch out here. I hope you don't mind looking at my ink-stained fingers tonight. Um, I'm going to start by using my white gel pen. I wish I had it like a... A cream color even a yellow would be cute maybe but um, and just going over these embossed areas just to highlight the curls and the fullness and the fun in this little critters hair so just and then I'm gonna go around the edges just a little bit not everywhere but just to highlight it a little bit and the outside edges. I hope y'all are staying cool. I had to drive into, well, I actually went into Fort Worth twice today. But um, my thing on my car said 100 degrees. I was like, oh, how, how can it be? Okay, and I'm going to, let me, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I inked. And while I do that, I'm going to do the twist, little bitty twist tonight. Um, the twist tonight comes from Proverbs. When the wicked are in authority, sin flourishes, but the godly will live to see their downfall. And I chose that one because sometimes I think we just sort of get discouraged and lose hope and think, oh, you know, everything's just falling apart. And it is. <laughs> I won't, I won't try to lie to you. Our culture, you know, there's just so much sin and wickedness. We have human trafficking and we have what they're teaching in some of our schools today and the murder rates and the thefts, that kind of stuff just drives, I just don't understand it. And, um, Oh, the movies, you know, even children's movies are not safe anymore. There's all these innuendos and everything in them. And it just makes you, well, it just breaks your heart. But to me, this verse says, you know, we're just to keep the course. We're to keep a steady course doing what we know is right and that God's in control. And there is going to come a day when sin and wickedness will be reckoned with and it'll be no more and that encourages me and I think it should encourage all of us do we like what's going on absolutely not should we stand against it yes absolutely should we do everything that we can certainly but we ultimately turn it over to God and God is going to take care of the final score so these are kind of, I've, I'm using these little, you see me use these little makeup brushes all the time, inking things. Um, they're just, you can get in around places that you just can't get with a dauber or a brush. This is his little shirt. And I tried to make him kind of a um, little business guy. You know, I put a little white shirt on him and little, um, gray trousers and well, they're actually a little pattern paper but they're gray trousers and then his little black dress shoes i think that's everything to ink uh except maybe for his cheeks i'm gonna do a little more of the white gel pen i want to put a little bit of white gel pen on this little bag or briefcase or whatever it is i don't even know what it is just to give it a little highlight there. Okay, we'll see how that does. I'm gonna have to do something on his shirt in a minute. So here's the little um, head and the top of his body. He needs, uh, this is, uh, what is it, frayed burlap that I'm 
doing the flesh in. I had already done his little head around his face, but he needs his little hands just with a touch on them. Um, and I used black soot on the grays, and I used uh, hickory smoke, I think, on his little shirt. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and put his head together, his hair on. So, I don't know. There we go. So, we're going to put his hair on. Kind of build down on him is what I've done. Start at the top and build down. So, get him where we want that hair. Get all of that situated. I think about there is good. Maybe a little lower. There we go. So we've got that done. Then we can put his little shirt on. And I'm just putting a little bit of glue around on him to stick the shirt to him. Actually, the shirt is the flip side of what his pants were because it was white on that side, so I just used that. Ginger would be proud of me for the way I use scraps in this one. <laughs> Look at the black. There's not much left over on that black. I did the underneath part of his shoes and his eyes out of that black. Okay, so there's his little shirt on. Now let's put his little trousers on. He's fairly simple once you figure out uh, what colors you're going to do his clothes in. And these little trousers, I'm just putting a tiny bit on the little, like, suspender part. And then right here on the bottom of his shirt. Just stick that. down just a tiny, there we go, tiny bit, okay, and then we're going to assemble his shoes, I made the soles, this is the underneath part that's going to be the sole of his shoes, I made it just in the dark gray, and then made his little shoes like dress shoes in the black. So put the black on the gray. I think he turned out cute. And then we will put his shoes on him. There we go. And to put his shoes on, I just put a little bit of glue on the bottom of his pant leg, and then put his shoes on there. He's kind of in a full stride. So there he goes. And then these little things are like the ties of his shoes. Like his little shoes were laced up and then tied, so we're gonna just put a dot, whoa, that was kind of a big dot, um, for his little shoelaces. There we go. Get that turned around a little. Now we're ready to work on his little face. Um, and I used uh, brown to do his little eyebrows. And I used, actually, what did I, I used? This had just a little bit of spun sugar on it. 
And so I did that just a tiny bit on his cheeks. You really can't even hardly see that spun sugar, but it does give them a little pink. And then over that, I put just a touch of this, um, um, that was are actually a little dark, but they're still cute, of the um, frayed burlap. And then his eyes, we're just going to do a couple of little eyelashes up and then one down, a couple up and one down, and then put his little eyes on there. I got his cheeks really kind of high up under his eyes, but I think it'll be okay. There we go. And then let's go ahead and do his little mouth and nose. I'm just doing a couple of little dots for his nose. Then I used my black pen. Oh, I need to give him some fingers on this hand. There we go. Then I used my black pen to go over the collar of his shirt. And this is like where his arm was coming down that other side. And, oh, and I put him some little buttons down his shirt. And we gotta get his little briefcase in his hand. So just a drop of glue on that little handle and put his little hand on the handle. And I think we have him, oh, I want to put the little, um, there was a little area that was embossed down the side of his pants. So we'll just highlight that with our black pen. Maybe give him a couple of little things in the knees or something. Okay, there we go. Our little successful young man is finished. Let's see if I can give you um, a little bit closer look. Let's see. We can get a little closer, maybe even a little closer. There he is, my dirty mat. There he is, there's our cute little fella. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. In the description below, there is a link to everyone that is doing this hop. And you can watch everybody do their little kiddos that are gonna be the, our future. And I hope you have a blessed day and above all, be a blessing to someone else.